At its core, CSS is about setting properties to specific values. Looking at our styles.css file, we see we selected our h1 element and gave it a color of blue. Fundamentally, this is how CSS is always written. You select the element you want to style, you add curly braces, and inside those curly braces, you set properties to specific values. So for example, in this case, h1 is a selector, color is a property, and blue is a value. The property and the value together is referred to as a declaration. The curly braces and everything inside of it is referred to as a block. And the entire thing, beginning from the selector all the way down to the closing curly brace, is referred to as a rule set. Also, if we take a closer look at our declaration, we see post fixed against our color property is a colon. This colon must be added against our property for us to give it a value. And then after our value, you'll notice I have this semicolon. Declarations must end with a semicolon as to close the declaration. Otherwise, subsequent declarations might not be read by the browser. Now finally, in the pursuit of potentially better readability, CSS allows us to leave comments in our code. To add a comment in CSS, we add two slashes with two stars in between them, just like this. Anything written inside of a comment will be ignored by the browser. For example, if I write hello world and save, we see it has no effect on our page. Usually you would want to leave a useful comment as to communicate with whoever is unfortunate enough to be reading your code. So instead of hello world, maybe you should try leaving a more meaningful comment, but I'll just leave it as is for this lesson. Also, in addition to communicating meaningfully, we can also leverage comments to comment out some code we no longer want the browser interpreting. So for example, if I suddenly for some reason no longer wanted our heading to be blue, but also didn't want to remove the declaration entirely, I can simply comment it out by pressing Ctrl slash on my keyboard. And when I do, we see it commented out our color declaration. When I save, we see our heading is no longer blue. To undo our comment, I can again press Ctrl slash on our comment and it removes it. Or if I bring it back, I can use the undo shortcut in VS Code to undo my last action by pressing Ctrl Z on my keyboard. Or redo by pressing Ctrl Shift Z. I'll remove my comment. And say for example I wanted to comment out my entire rule set, I can do so by selecting my entire rule set and pressing Ctrl slash. Now our entire rule set is being ignored. I'll undo it with Ctrl Z.